Hello and welcome to the next episode of The Last of Us Part 1. Uh, last time, we had a lot of difficulty escaping the financial district, which was under siege, uh, not only by hunters who were looking for us, but by a Humvee that was chasing down other potential tourists and dissidents from the new regime. Uh, we met up with Sam and Henry, uh, two individuals trying to get out of the city, and now we have uh, basically made a deal with them that will help them get out if they help us. So let's uh, let's get started, huh? So the Humvee was patrolling outside, but it doesn't seem like we can really hear that much. I'm surprised this room still has so many things in it. You'd think stuff like makeup, clothes, books would be... Uh, deserted or not deserted uh scavenged and then the house would be deserted but no there's a lot of stuff here uh relatively well kept blankets granted uh henry and sam might have taken some of this stuff but things like luggage you would think are valuable enough that people would actually take them same with backpacks but uh in terms of game design i mean part of the reason why the room probably looks like this is to to give us a more warm environment to encounter sam and henry in it kind of changes the mood um, of the room, of the scene that we, we first meet them in. So I guess it makes sense in that regard. Again, soap, shaving cream. These are all commodities. And granted, it looks like this house has been scavenged, but not really that much comparatively. I wonder if maybe this house was in use very, very recently by people who lived... Uh, as part of the regime, and maybe they just recently moved, but again, I mean, by the time <laughs> this game takes place, right, this Jack and Daxter and Uncharted uh, Funko Pop, basically, those would have been 20 years old, so, this was a kid's room, note the other giraffe, Again, giraffes really specifically in both The Last of Us 1 and Last of Us 2 uh, symbolize innocence, the first one that we see not even innocence, but like childhood and, and the life we left behind, right? Because uh, the first time we see a giraffe is in Sarah's room. And over the course of the game, we encounter them mostly in children's rooms, not just because they are a reused asset, but because symbolically, you know, they represent this, this majesty, this thing that uh, used to be that no longer exists. A bunch of sugar, candles newspapers we've got elephants as well there are a lot of elephants in the last of us one and two in terms of just like random uh design pieces so looks like the pictures on the wall are the same people in the other room so good attention to detail kind of interesting so look wanted history uh something heaven guests of guests of fond memories thieves of dawn cool i really like all the the super like high attention to detail just like random stuff you can find in especially naughty dog environments ben f melody it's like a family lived here oh nice chapter eight improve radius of incendiary bombs and any incendiary device Something, uh, soak the wick in oil, escaping the container, and something, you can sort of read through it. I bet there is a texture in the game files that is, like, underneath this oil that you could probably extract and find. Leave the small air bubbles at the top of the bottle. This will aid in distributing the force upon impact. Nice. I'm sure I've missed a lot of those books. We gotta be careful. We're right next to one of their lookout areas. This is just you and your daughter. We're not related. We're more like, um... I promised someone I'd look after. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Wilted flowers. So yeah, there was some signs of life here. Maybe someone lived here when it was a QZ. I mean, there were spices in the kitchen, so... need a shiv. Do I have the supplies to make one? I don't. Ooh, I almost have the supplies to make a smoke bomb, though. 
Let's reload all my guns while I'm at it. Don't need to reload that one. Is there anything in here for me? It's all mail, magazines, general state of disarray. I feel like even in an apocalypse, people would uh, take better care of their places. Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. Get away from the windows. <laughs> Get away from the windows, he says as Joel and Ellie rush up towards the window. They're gone. Man, that fucking truck. It's been hounding us ever since we got in this damn... Sam, what are you doing? Nothing. Get rid of it. My backpack is practically empty. What's the rule about taking stuff? It weighs like nothing. The rule? What is it? We only take what we have to. That's right. Now, come on. It's clear that Henry is... How far uh, is this place? Oh. We're close. Real close. It's clear that Henry, you know, cares about Sam pretty deeply, but it's also clear that Henry has had to probably more directly encounter the effects of the apocalypse. I mean, it doesn't really seem, I don't know how old uh, Henry is. Cause let's see if the, if the apocalypse happened, if the outbreak happened, I should say uh, 20 years ago, Sam would have been like probably eight or nine maybe, or Henry would have been eight or nine. And then Sam looks like he was born after the start, just like Ellie. So, I mean, it's probably very clear to Henry that the realities of life are a lot more difficult, um, especially like having to make do, like being put back into a survival situation and not just growing up in the QZ. Uh, it makes him a little bit more hardened, which is interesting. Shit. Ellie, you watch our back. What'd you find? Sam, Nothing. stay with her. Looks like okay. someone was up there, but they're long gone. So where are the others? They wanted to give it another once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right. Keep an eye out over there. I'll check this area. We gotta see where they move. So one of them has a melee weapon. One of them has a gun. I mean, if we can sneak up on one of them, I think that guy might be possible. Okay, gotta move quickly before they turn around. Whoa! Get him! Fuck! Oh, fuck this! Uh, I thought I got the one with the gun. What'd you find? Nothing. Looks like someone was up there, but they're long gone. So where are the others? They wanted to give it another once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right. Keep an eye out over there. I'll check this area. All right, we'll grab uh, the guy right there and then try to kill the other guy with the gun because the melee weapon guy is... <laughs> Whoa! Is, look at him! We can move something. Holy shit! <laughs> Melee weapon guy is not much of a threat. Alright, again, we used our bottle and our bullets. Unfortunate. We did it. Not bad, old timer. Come on. Go. Up on the truck. I really wish there was a bottle around here. Normally they give you one for stealth encounters. Doesn't really seem like there is one. Shit. 
Over there. Guys up there. Oh, he's gonna run right up. Come on, pop your head up. Ugh, come on. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Did I get some more? I got shotgun ammo from both of them. That's nice. I don't think either of them were actually carrying shotguns, but... Through this door. You sure he's safe, being so close to them? I'm the only one with the key, man. And where'd you get that? I killed one of them. He won't miss it now. Everybody through. Uh, after we finish scavenging, my friend. Thank you. He's back here. Ooh, Firefly tag. Pendant worn by members of the Fireflies Militia. And it uh, has a bullet hole in it. Lucas Rios. Dang. How about there are just no bottles laying around? You'd think there would be some. Or a brick, maybe. Doesn't really seem like there's anything here. It's really been scavenged. This is a complete, uh, completely different environment than the apartment building we started in. Anything over here? Anything worth grabbing? No. So, how old are you? Me? 14. How old are you? Uh, same. Oh, you're 14, huh? I'm close. <laughs> All right. I am. It's funny. It's clever to see them like play with that uh sort of child dynamic between the two of them. We know there are kids, you know, in the outbreak. People still have children somehow. Um and Fed Fedra recruits them into military schools, but it's interesting to see kids just be kids. Uh another interesting thing, just a comparison between this and the show is that Pittsburgh, as I mentioned before, was changed to Kansas City. But a lot of these individual environments, like the apartment building we started in when we met uh, Sam and Henry, and even this architecture firm, there are scenes uh, in the show that take place in rooms that look almost exactly like this. Um, so it's really interesting. We had a public trial after a bunch of teenagers from our group killed the family that wandered into our city. It, I was sure they'd be punished for breaking our code. Instead, the boss deemed that they procured supplies for the group. I couldn't believe my ears, and it didn't end there either. Uh, he then ordered that all of us take turns hunting other survivors in the area and bringing their supplies back to camp. There was a long silence. We started walking away when two members of the group started yelling, protesting the new law, saying he had no right to force this on us, that this isn't what we fought for. I didn't dare lift a finger as the only people to display any sort of morality were killed in front of all of us. Next week is my turn to go hunting. Pretty brutal. I mean, it's got to be a pretty dire situation, right? Why does a architecture firm have so many <laughs> music CDs? It's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Nice looking office. Pretty house. Anything cool being drafted? Just looks like some kind of landing area. Maybe some stairs, like a first floor leading up into a second floor. I didn't really take too close a look, but 
I'm always curious, maybe some of these, these designs are used in other places in the game, but it doesn't look familiar to me. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe this is an interior environment. They just reused some concept art or design. Big old TV. This definitely looks like an area where we might encounter enemies, so. Oh, it's so pretty. Nice arts and crafts. Again, more just miniatures. Here we are. In a minute. Still scavenging. Anything back here? Ooh, there's pills. That's good. Supplements, I should say. That's all pre-outbreak. Anything good for me here? No. Any drawers we can open? Doesn't seem like it. All right, we move forward. Welcome to my office. <laughs> How long have you guys been holed up in here? A few days. We found a bit of food, though. Here. Blueberries. Found a whole stash of them. You want some? No. Hey, man, relax. We're safe. So why haven't you left? Been waiting for the right opportunity. And? Here. Check this out. Look at these sons of bitches. Every day they congregate down there, guarding that damn bridge. Come nighttime, it's down to a skeleton crew. After sunset, that's our window. Most of them gone, sneak right past them. That could work. No, it'll work. It'll definitely work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh All right, ready? Oh. Ow! <laughs> a blueberry hurt you? It's been a while since that boy even cracked a smile. She doesn't seem bothered by all this. So where were you heading? I heard the Fireflies are based out west somewhere. We're gonna join up with them. Something funny? Oh, it just seems like there's a lot of people putting their stock on the Fireflies these days. Yeah, maybe there's a reason for that. So you don't know where they are, and you're just gonna drag him across the country to find them? <laughs> I'll tell you what, how about I worry about my brother, you worry about your girl. Easy. We're looking for the fireflies, too. This is us. There's an abandoned military radio station just outside the city. Any survivors from our group, they're supposed to meet us there tomorrow. You and your girl, you want to join us. It goes down tonight. I guess we best rest up then. He says it's time to go. You know, we're gonna be moving fast, okay? So no matter what, you stick to me. Like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good. Good. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all stay close, okay? You tried this before? Uh, yeah. That's comforting. Relax, old man. I just hope you know the way. Yeah, it looks like no one's out right now. Granted, of course, enemies will spawn. It's just so that we can't pick them off. Like, from a gameplay perspective, it's just so that we can't pick them off um, from this room, trigger them in here, but still. Ooh, look at that keyboard. Ah, uh, it looks like it would be membrane. I was going to say it looked like a uh, Model F, sort of, or like a Fujitsu Real Force. That's keyboard nerd stuff for all of you watching. I 
again. I really wish I had a bottle. I can hear stuff clinking, but... Oh, is this the, the specific bridge we're trying to get across? Interesting. Now, trophies are heavy. That's, I, I get why they don't let us carry them, but like, it would be so nice if we could just pick up a trophy and uh, attack people with that instead of like a bottle or even just use them as melee weapons. I guess it wouldn't be that much heavier than a brick. Again, just scavenging for supplies, trying to see if there's anything here I can use. Doesn't really seem like it. Hey, how you doing? Just trying to keep warm. How's it looking out there? We put down some infected. No sign of those tourists. You think they're still in the city? Yeah, they're still around. God. Okay, everyone move up. Uh, this is gonna be definitely dangerous. We can hear the infected out there, but that actually might be good for us uh, because it means we can use the infected to deal with um, the the guys out there. So, I believe that gets me to, yep, a shiv I can craft, but I'm actually going to hold off on that because I want to not feel pressured to use it um, because I want to be able to get into those supply rooms if possible. Oh, nailed it! Did you see that shit? Not bad. Okay, behind the cart. Now, I am walking like back towards that barricade. Hey, you hear that? Clicker. Yeah, I hear it, but I don't see shit. Because I want to explore. Hold on, there it is, there. And if we wait uh, and we play our cards really right, we might be able to take advantage of them paying attention to the infected to move. Like right now. Right when this guy turns around, that's when we're gonna follow. Whoa. Oh, darn it. I thought he had fully turned, but he had not yet. Let's try to take him out quietly. Hey, I'll follow your lead. All right. <laughs> Henry is hey. clearly leading hey, here. Go. Just trying to keep warm. How's it looking out there? Got him. Okay, everyone move up. Alright. So we'll hold cover. Hug this side. Oh! 
move as fast as we can to get over here. It didn't seem to see us, so we should be good to just Yo, Joel, there's a guy on that light up there. I see him. Walk up here. Hey, you hear that? Click it. Yeah, I hear it, but I don't see shit. There we go. And now we should be able to just walk. Pretty much. Hold up. There it is! There! Right up to here. Okay. So from here. We have quite a bit of cover. We have that area with the scaffolding that we can hide under, theoretically, in that little ledge right there that seems like we can hide behind. So I think our plan should be to grab him and pull him as far back as we can when he is uh, standing guard there so that we can uh, effectively pull him underneath this shade. I think we should be able to. I'm not sure how long I can hold on to someone, so I don't know if we'll be able to make it all the way back, but... I mean, maybe. Take it easy. Everything's cool, man. Is it? There we go. Alright. So we're able to get him underneath there. That's good. My guess is that I can hold people for like 10 seconds. Seems about right. There's nothing over here, is there? Ooh, a brick. Is that a... Ooh, that's a bottle, too. All right, so there's some supplies over there. Makes it nice that they don't uh, walk over here. <laughs> uh, let's turn this off and then immediately hide. God damn it. I don't know how many of them there are, but we should be able to grab whoever jumps down. Just immediately Pull him over here. Take care of him. Ooh, another guy. Do this a bunch. Is another guy gonna? <laughs> All right. All right, we took care of those guys. Those three. Is, are any more gonna show up? That's my question. Now, I don't know where any of the others are. I, I was very scary. I did not know he was there. <laughs> How many of them are there? That's my question. Is anyone else up there right now? I don't think so. Oh, shoot. Shoot him! Watch my back! <sighs> Oh, nice. We got a checkpoint. I don't know where they are. Okay, there's one all the way down there. 
That's a very convenient checkpoint. Nothing. What about you? Nothing here either. Keep searching. Joel, you see what I'm seeing? I do. Oh god. I'm searching out here. Check over that way. Dude, get out of my way. All right, I think there's only that last one, right? Where's he at? Can't see anything. Okay, he's still way up forward. So we go back in there, which means we will have plenty of opportunity to get him. Through. Nice work. Didn't even need to use any bullets. Nice. Henry, give me a hand with this. All right. You ready? Oh, no. oh, shit. Oh, come on. oh the Humvee. Go. Okay, things are going to get real spicy wait, in a minute. Wait, wait. Oh, nice oh, shot. Come on, everyone. All right. Up Keep you go. Keep your eyes open. We ain't out. All right, check it out. We're good. Sam, let's go. All right, kid, come on. There you go. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh dear. Hurry, hurry. I'm sorry. We're leaving. What? What is this bullshit? Hey, now! What the fuck, Henry? Oh, One more time. Punch it. We stick together. Nice. How'd they miss? <laughs> we gotta move. Is there anything in here for me? Sounds like they found it. Spread out. They might come through here. All right, we definitely will come through here, but you're not gonna see us. There are four or five of them. Looks like quite a few, but we might be able to uh, take one of them by surprise. One with a melee weapon. One with a gun. I think there's two with a gun and one with a melee weapon. Oh, 
Over where? Nice, Ellie. That was kind of a waste. I could have just used a shotgun shell, but that's fine. Oh, now I can't hold anyone hostage, though. That's a pain. Just play it safe. Both bleeding. Nice. All right. There's one more. Be careful. Hold him at this choke point. Where'd you go? <laughs> All right. Did they drop any ammo for me? They did not. But I didn't take damage, so that's a good thing. Oh, and I have a new brick. Jeez. Excellent work. Is there any goodies? Oh, I think this might have been the building that we saw the floor plans for. This, like, strange corner building. Uh, it has, like, a rounded edge and a bunch of stuff in the middle. Yeah, so I guess it was this, this building's, like, reception area. That's what it looks like. Where the heck do we go? Ah. <sighs> now what? Feels like there should be like a spot for me to climb somewhere with that. This is really cool. Does not appear to be a second floor to the bar. Selkirk lights. Oh, it's like an old cigarette vending machine. Interesting that you have to lean down so far to uh, use it, though. All right. Guess without anywhere else to go. We can't really climb up there either. Uh, we'll just have to go in or go out. I see. Bullets you have left. They're gonna kill us. What other choice do we have? We jump. No, it's too high and you can't swim. I'll boost you up, you run past them. You keep me afloat. Ellie! No time to argue. Ellie! God damn it. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> Henry! He's awake! Hey, you. We're alive. <laughs> okay. See? What'd I tell you, huh? He's good. Everything's fine. <laughs> you know, Sam's the one who spotted you. You guys are taking quite a bit of water. What's wrong with you? Henry! Get back, hey, Sean! Hey, hey, hey! He's pissed, but he's not gonna do anything. You sure about that? Stop! Joel? He left us to die out there. No. You had a good chance of making it, and you did. But coming back for you meant putting him at risk. Stay back. 
If it was the other way around, would you have come back for us? I saved you. You saved me too. We would have drowned. It's fine, Liz. I'm okay. You know, for what it's worth, I'm really glad we spotted you. Now, that radio tower, it's on the other side of this cliff. Okay? Place is gonna be full of supplies. You're gonna be really happy you didn't kill me. Excellent. Hey, we're gonna search this area. See what we come up with. Alrighty. I, uh, I think... Intense. Who? You cool? Yeah. Let's go find that radio tower. Do you trust him? Yeah, I do. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll find him, okay? You gotta believe me on this, Sam, all right? Sure. Alrighty. I think this is the end of the episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along with me. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, folks. Peace out.